Happy Canada Day! Happy Canada Day! Take a look at that beautiful Canadian flag. I just wanted to wave it one last time before it becomes a racist symbol. You know, these days everything is coming crashing down. You know, statues and flags and governments. Tear it all down. Countries, let's get rid of the countries. Let's just tear everything down. Society, gone. People, gone. Animals, gone. Plants, gone. Stupid plants. We need to rebuild the world from the ground up with me as the king. What do you think about that? Do you like that? If you like that, smash like. But if you don't like that, then leave a comment. See what I did there? I tricked you into not smashing the dislike button. <laughs> but you know, guys, the, the Canadian flag, you know, for me, I really like it. You know, it's a very beautiful flag. I would say it's one of the most distinct symbols in the world today. You know, if you think about just the most, the most powerful or the most, the most, I don't know, the most popular symbols, I guess. You know, what, 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 what do you think of? Well, you know, I think of like Apple, you know, everybody uses an iPhone or a, or a MacBook, you know, and then you see the Apple logo, it's a very powerful symbol. Or, you know, like the Olympics, you know, the Olympic rings. How many rings are there? I think there are, what are there, seven? Seven or eight? Nine? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments how many rings there are in the Olympic symbol. But, you know, symbols like that are really, you know, you know, just really popular. You see them all over the place. And, and for me, you know, I think the Canadian flag is one of those symbols that's just... Uh, I just had to check if I'm recording. Sometimes I forget to press record on my microphone. But, uh, yeah, you know, I, I would say the Canadian flag is, is just a, a great symbol. You know, when I travel around the world, I always see other Canadian travelers with like little Canadian flags on their on their backpacks or on their jackets or something like that. And it's just it's a very distinct sort of a symbol, right? You can see it from far away. You can see the red and the white with the maple leaf, the big maple leaf right in the middle. You know, it's not really like any other flag. It's very distinct. You know, most flags have like stripes or you know, they have sort of similar colors or something. You know, like, for example, the American flag, the Australian flag, the New Zealand flag, you know, the UK. They're all sort of similar, have sort of similar colors. You know, maybe a few stars or some stripes or something like that. But, um, but the Canadian flag is just, I would say it's one of the most distinct flags. You know, when you see it, you recognize it. You know, you know what you're looking at. And... Um, you know, more than that, it's probably like a symbol. When people see when people see the Canadian flag, they see it as like a symbol of, I don't know, of like, of, of, of opportunity. I don't know, of like peace, diversity, a place where people can live together without, I don't know, without killing each other. You know, so many places in the world, there's so much conflict. You know, even in the U.S., right, our southern neighbors here in Canada... They're going through some pretty, uh, some pretty tough times. And uh, up here in Canada, you know, everything's a little bit more relaxed. Everything's a bit more peaceful. You know, when people think of Canadians, I think they think of like people who are sort of laid back. You know, people who say A a lot. We're laid back, eh? I want to come over for a barbecue, eh? You know, we're just uh, sort of, I don't know, sort of peaceful people. I hope I'm a good representation of of Canadians and, and Canada as a country. I hope, you know, I hope you look at me as a person who, you know, represents their country well. I really like Canada, you know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like, just like a hardcore, you know, I mean, look, countries, countries change, the world changes. If Canada changes in the future, you know, if it changes shape a little bit, like, Okay, you know, that's one of those things we'll just have to cross that bridge when we get there. But for now, you know, I always wear a Canada shirt and uh, the maple leaf on my shirt. So, you know, I'm proud to be from Canada. It's a, it's a great place. And, uh, you know, my channel, my videos, you know, are, are geared to helping you. Well, a lot of my videos are, are geared to help people, you know, come here and sort of, I don't know, enjoy 
Canadian life a bit more, learn English, learn about Canadian, you know, way of life. You know, last summer I did a huge trip across Canada from coast to coast. Oh, such an epic trip. Thank you guys so much for joining me on that trip. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll post them somewhere up here at the end of this video. So I just wanted to wish you guys a very happy Canada Day, July 1st. Hope you uh, guys have a great day wherever in the world. I guess maybe it's July 2nd for you if you're over in Asia or Europe or Africa. But here in Canada, it's still July 1st. So happy Canada Day. I think I'm going to maybe go for a walk and then uh, come back and clean my house because my house is a bit messy. So that's my plans. Uh, hey, hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. And I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Happy Canada Day.